Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Frosty76201. Doing a G.I. Joe review, haven't done one of these in forever it feels like. Um, we're going to do the 30th anniversary sci-fi. Uh, right now he doesn't have a uh, page up on uh, gojo.com, but I will put a link to generaljoes.com, uh, their review, so you can see pictures, you know, some more detailed images of the uh, figure. But this is my personal review. Well, as you can see, here's the figure himself. Name is Sci-Fi. Real name is C4 uh, Seymour Fine. Uh, he uses a lot of the uh, new 30th anniversary articulation, which I'm um, sad to say this this uh, this style will be going away at the um, end of this line. Uh, they're going for reduced articulation. As you can see, his wrist can pivot and rotate like that. Also has his standard elbow joints, which allow you to make a 90 degree angle and twist that completely around, holding the arm still just to demonstrate that fact. Uh, you can also do the same thing at the shoulder. Standard mid torso articulation. Head. That was on a ball joint. No license, no helmet, stolen bike. I'm just asking to be arrested, aren't I? Oh, what after fighting? Standard T bar back. crotch. Oh, Double jointed you knees. You've got a point. Ankle articulation. And that's on both as well. So I mean it's it's very standard for the thirtieth anniversary line. Right. Very detailed. Wait, there's um there's from that the original figure did come out in 1986. This is a 2011 release. Although a lot of these figures didn't really hit stores until this year in 2012. Um, but he, he looks a lot like his original figure. The exception is now you can actually see his face. Uh, he comes with two helmets. One with an enclosed visor like this. I've watched enough TV. And one that is more traditional. What do they say? Don't aim it With, unless you plan to shoot. The, you can see the nose and mouth have been exposed. Look, kind of looks like a neon green Robocop. It's just a lot heavier than I thought. Comes with the standard G.I. Joe figure stand. See, there is the G.I. Joe logo, two pegs, and his name, Sci Fi. Comes with a silver rifle like this in a backpack, which has the peg right there. Here's a neat little feature. See this little peg right here? It actually allows you to fit that right into the backpack for storage. It also has this little tube right here. Uh, I guess it's like a power cable from the backpack to the gun. I don't actually use it because it limits posability. But it's uh, the same tube that came with 25th anniversary barbecue. It's you can actually replace these pretty easily. They're st they're standard, so don't worry about losing it. But uh, you if you're like me, keep everything in a snack no, bag. Keep until we can get some All right, um, this is a hard to find figure. So if you do see him at retail, buy him, buy him, buy him, buy him, buy him. If not, then I definitely suggest buying him on eBay or an on online retailer because, like I said, this is the last time you'll see this type of articulation of a GI Joe. Uh, when the new movie is released, they're actually going to limit articulation on a lot of the figures. They're taking away the ankle articulation on the standard soldier figures. They're taking away knee and elbow articulation, as well as ankle and mid-torso, on the vehicle drivers. You're only going to get five points of articulation. That's not a G.I. Joe. Hasbro, pull your heads out. Until, matter of fact, keep going until you hear this little noise. That is the sound of your head coming out of your ass. Do not take away articulation. I know it's too late for these figures. But when you get back to business as usual, bring back the articulation. What makes G.I. Joe a great toy to collect is the fact that he's a movable fighting man. This has been your advertising campaign since the 1960s when the original 12-inch G.I. Joe came out. So don't give me this crap about saving money. You're not going to make money by selling us a crappy product. You're going to make money by selling us a superior product. If I wanted crap-ass articulation and half-ass toys, I'd be buying a much cheaper figure from a different company, a different brand. But I support G.I. Joe because you can pose him 
any way you flippin' feel like. Just wait here. That's why. Scream if something happens. Sorry, it ran to the end of that review, but I felt like it was necessary. Um, but uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. here is a nice, complete image of sci-fi with gun. There you go. Like I said, if you see him, buy him. Uh, thank you for watching, and hope to see you all again soon.